so I'm back from my run and I did 2.4 today. Don't really enjoy it, <laughs> but I know it's good for my health, so we'll see how it goes for the next couple of weeks and yeah. So basically today we are gonna go through something that I hope is pretty timely for most of you, especially if you're doing your revision right now, and that is how do you study in terms of the content for geography as well as how do you pick out keywords that you can use for your explanation uh, in your answers. So step one. Alright, if I were you, what I would do is to first read through the textbook and make sure that I understand what it's talking about, especially for physical jog, try to understand the entire process of the occurrence of a certain phenomenon and uh, what I would do is, if I really can't visualize it, I'll actually watch a YouTube video. Um, in fact, there are lots of YouTube animations about all the different physical job processes. So what I would do, just read through it and then look at the YouTube and visualize and try to understand and don't worry about the keywords just yet. Alright, step number two. What I would do is, at this point, I will start to gather all the different kinds of questions from past year papers that uh, my school has, as well as from the 10 year series, and I will start to sieve out questions that are actually relevant to what I've just read. Alright, so as I sieve out the questions, also sieve out the answers, because as you're reading through the answers, this is the important part, start to pick out the relevant keywords that you find repetitive in all the questions, and basically it's a hint to you that all these are the keywords that markers are looking out for. Okay, so step number three. What you can do now is you pick out all these keywords and you fit it into the explanation that you have read earlier on from the textbook. And at this point, what you should be doing is to just make sure that you underline all these keywords and try and remember them, but at the same time, make sense of them and understand why is it important. If you find it difficult to remember them in isolation, uh, what I would recommend you to do is to think about them um, in a very sequential manner. So let me just give you a very simple example, uh, and that is the explanation for monsoon. Right, so in the textbook, you will notice that they will always start off with O, oh, from June to September or from October to February. All right, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere, they have different seasons. Uh, and then after that, they will mention about how the wind direction actually changes. So what I would do if I were you is to actually try and remember the whole um, explanation by breaking it down into very easy steps. So first thing that I should recall would be when is this occurring, the month, all right, which would therefore determine the season, which would therefore determine the temperature, which would therefore determine the air pressure, all right, and air pressure would therefore determine the wind and uh, basically the wind direction and therefore it's uh, this whole explanation is complete once you consider all these points and try and fit all these keywords into a very sequential explanation and studying of geography content is going to be easier for you in this case and yeah so let me know if it's helpful or if you're still struggling with um, the studying of content and I'll see how I can help so do feel free to just drop me an email or leave a comment on this video or you can DM me on Instagram whichever platform it is uh, if you need any form of help just feel free to just ask me and I'll see how I can try my best to help Alright, so I hope all of you had a great day today and uh, yeah, we'll see each other tomorrow. Bye!